Hey, what up, what up, what is up, everybody? And welcome back to the Cronenberg Returns YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. And welcome back. Welcome back. I can actually say that this time. Welcome back to the Let's Play Gears Tactics, the Gears of War turn-based strategy game that is brand new. Excuse me for a second, guys. Literally out today. Apologize for that. I had to adjust something. Um, Literally out today. Uh, so we're playing it. I, I'm literally going to record a couple episodes. I will, I'll put probably two up today and then I will work on, you know, kind of my normal pace of, of one per day. I might kind of interweave, um, some other videos into this. We were doing a, um, it's not really relevant to this video, but we were doing a Rim World series. We were doing a battle tech campaign or a career mode campaign on Iron Man. We're doing a few more things. So you might see some things interlaced within this. But my my goal is to get quite a bit of this this stuff going on, uh, quite a bit of this content up consistently throughout the week. So that's the plan right now. We'll keep it going and we'll see what, what happens from there. Um, right when we left off the last episode, we just completed like the first mission, which is a lot of training. A lot of training. Um... And uh, we were going to check out the barracks because we have some upgrades available. Some uh, In the last mission, we actually picked up a package. So it's got some, apparently it has some stuff for us to, ch to check out. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we've got Gabe um, and we've got Sid, right? And so each of them has, okay, so we've got one, we've got one. Um, so he's got, so Gabe has bonus evasion and Sid has just more health. And he's got this special ability, right, that, like, he regenerates some health, I believe. Yeah, the amount of damage before being downed, right. But, you know, it's yellow. It's got this yellow thing. And I'm pretty sure I saw that Sid was actually, like, you know, he was doing well. He was, like, gaining stuff. And just in general, he seems to be better. He's more experienced. He's, he's better. So I'm thinking it might be a good idea to upgrade. Uh, yeah, so we got... We can upgrade the site. We had like a site upgrade. Yeah, yeah, here it is. So this would give him a plus five accuracy bonus. I like it. I like it. Uh, and then magazines, we've got this expert mag plus three accuracy bonus. Taking his accuracy from 45 to 48. Sid's uh, accuracy bonus is currently... The Did I get pulled those for it? Digital scope plus 50 crit damage. Oh, interesting. I wonder if the since they have different weapons, Gabe Diaz is Lancer and a Retro Lancer. I wonder if... Yeah. More damage. Sounds good. Barrel. Sights. So he's got the accuracy thing. Let's get the, uh, yeah, that installed. So then, like, does he not have a magazine then? I wonder. Like, so some of these are obviously going to be, um, unique to weapons, it looks like. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool. It's, you can kind of customize that. Patterns, cosmetics, stuff like that. Patterns, cosmetics. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm interested to learn a little bit more about that. But the big thing here as well is look at the skill trees. So it looks like we've got some skills, uh, skills to unlock. Uh, you gain skill points as they level up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend skill points to unlock new passive and active skills. You'll get reset. So obviously one of the passive skills that um, um, uh, Sid over here has is that just he uh, he heals between turns. You'll get reset tokens by completing campaign missions. Uh, spending reset token will refund a skill unit. Okay, that's interesting. So you can like kind of remake some of your decisions, huh? Um, Stim. Heal ally target for 100 health or... Target ally gains one action. Ooh, that seems like it's super good. Um, and then passive skill revved up. Now this is Gabe. When this unit kills an enemy, the chainsaw attack ability cooldown is reduced by one. Oh, that's cool. Uh, the use of chainsaw ability is, coo is cooldown, so it's just a cooldown bonus. Uh, I kind of like the cooldown bonus. That's pretty cool. I'm just kind of looking at some of these skills right now. Um, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. This unit's chainsaw ability cooldown is reduced by one turn. When this unit kills an enemy, it's reduced by one turn. So these would be really good to get, like, soon, right? Let's just get the one that just straight up reduces it by one turn. And then this one will give us the kill, so we'll get our chainsaw back really, really quick with Gabe. Kind of turn him into a killing machine, if you ask me. Um, enemies within 10 meters are removed from cover and interrupted. Oh, it's an active skill. 
This is also an active skill, Hunker Down. Select a target ally in cover. Target gains plus 40 evasion. Oh, that's really good. The defensive bonuses like that are really solid. When an enemy is damaged by a shot from this unit. Oh, Leech, it's a passive skill. This unit. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, enemies targeted by this unit's shoot ability get the weakened status effect. I really like that. That's a passive skill. I like passive skills a lot. Ones you don't have to think about implementing when you're actually in battle. Um, sometimes you can forget about uh, skills, especially when you're doing like a new game, right? So there we go. I think that's it, you guys. I think that wants to go check out our... So, like, wait. That's our barracks, right? We've used our skills. Two passive skills. Um, command. Yeah, when this unit kills an enemy, uh, e heal each ally 4% of their maximum health. That's interesting. I didn't know that. And then this guy's passive skills, regeneration. Right. So we saw that, like, going on actually in episode one. We saw that um, when he would do that, that, that's what would happen. Uh, so now going to weapons. That's interesting. Grenades. So he's got this stim grenade. Would it be would it be smart? Eh, you know what? We've got a nice we've got a nice variety between the two guys right now. Um That's the only secondary weapon I have available right now. Um Primary weapons. Yeah. Right, you can only do modifications. I don't see any like um, sorry guys, if you hear that, uh, that crinkling, that's actually the bag. Yeah. I, I just felt like there's like, this weapon. Skill tree, career stats. Weapons, primary, secondary. See, grenade, you can swap it. Secondary. So I wonder if, like, your main, your primary weapon, you can't actually, um, switch it out. It just kind of it's on a character basis. They each have their own guns on a character basis, and you're just kind of stuck with that. Interesting. Uh, if you guys hear that crinkling, it's just my ice pack for my shoulder. I'm still kind of like I'm doing a lot of physical therapy, and it gets pretty um, it gets pretty sore. So that's what you hear. I apologize, guys. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> uh, shoulder surgery is not fun. I don't recommend it. Um, old old sports injuries coming back to haunt you when you're in your early 30s. Better to handle them now though, um, while uh, I can still heal pretty quickly. So here we go. Act 1, Chapter 2. Let's start it. So apparently in Chapter 4 as well, we get the uh, Coal Train. Uh, one of the, the original, I think one of the OG original characters from uh, the first three uh, Gears, the first Gears trilogy. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start it up. Nope, we're not going to edit anybody. We're just we're just ready to deploy. I don't think we're going to make any, right? Can you make like quick edits right now? Is that is that what's going on? Yeah, okay, interesting. That's that's interesting. So you can make quick edits um, to your guys before you deploy, but I don't think we're going to do that, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Alder's a ghost town now, so our recruiting options are thin. Our best bet for Gears is Echo 5, a mop-up unit stationed nearby. Let's pay him a visit. All right, so basically... This is like, we're, we're going out to try to recruit some guys, it looks like. So, we're trying to put together a team, is essentially what's going on. Because it's just the two of us right now. And that's obviously not going to win the war. As badass as we are, it's not going to win us the war. Hmm. We're try Do you think we're a little bit subtle? Do you think we're sneaky? It's like, why don't we attract everybody? Don't you worry. Working on my recruiting pitch. Yeah, you look like a dude. Look, yeah. look real friendly. That's what I'm afraid of. Looks like there was a day one patch that I installed between episodes here, and it fixed a couple of GPU related issues that I was having uh, with the game. My GPU was not clocking up to its normal uh, max um, core clock speed, which is nice to see now. Just for you guys who are hardware nerds out there. Looks like to fix some stuff. So definitely install that Everybody day one patch peace? if you're just uh, checking this video out for the first time. That's us, sir. Grubs just ambushed our unit. Half a click up the road. Hey, a couple gears. Maybe we can recruit these All guys. Right, you're with us now. Let's go find your people. <laughs> you're with us now. And what if we refuse? Well, we've got a couple chainsaws on our guns. How's that sound? Oh, nice. We've got a heavy weapons guy. And a shotgun. Okay, so... In the XCOM series, the shotgunners are known as Assault, 
and then there's obviously the heavies. So they they really, really looks like they took took. I mean, obviously this game is very much inspired, but it is amazing just looking at like the how how inspired it is. So you have your standard like um you know your standard soldiers, which are like your your gunners, and then you've got your assault and you've got your heavy weapons. This is a, a very standard. So like in, in XCOM uh two. And maybe even the first one as well, I, I can't remember, it's been a while, but you have like a scout. And then you have just your standard, non-specialized soldiers. Sometimes they're just like, whatever. And uh, that's kind of what we got here. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's nice to see that we do have additional guys. Okay, so you can raise and lower the level. But it's not the zoom. I'm wondering, is, the, is there a zoom? No, because that's the R key. Uh, isn't it G and H? In, okay, so there is no zoom that I, that I can tell right now, you guys. Um... It's just kind of changing your level, right? So if you're, like, in, in, in buildings, I'm not to make anybody, like, sick here, but when you're in buildings, sometimes you can, like, go up and down in the buildings to see the different floors. That's how you do it. And then, obviously, you have your turn um, abilities here, and then you have your standard, you know, WASD. But I was, I was wondering, because I know in, I think in XCOM, it's, like, F and R. Now, that's the, this is to, like, engage the TACCOM, right? The R is. But I think F and R, like, do the zoom function. Oh, it's Z and C? Oh, no, no, okay, that's the same thing as the scroll, though, so it's not actually a separate zoom function. Interesting, okay. So, let's go ahead and move up, just, I'm sorry, guys, I'm just getting used to the, uh, I'm getting used to the, uh, support as well. So here, you can hit P to hit your, pa um, your passive skills. Uh, excuse me, I'm getting used to the controls as well, guys, so I do appreciate everybody bearing with me. Uh, that's three out of three, so I don't want to do that. I want to leave some action points available as I move my guys up, here so let's go. go like this. Let's go see what we got going on over here. All right, so we've got some enemies, finally. So we've got this, like, ring where we can see enemies. Uh, Hammerverse drones. Okay, so that's good, to, that's good to see that we're actually, like... It's nice. We can make it all the way over here and still have an action left, which would be great. Uh, these guys can both do Overwatch, which will be in strong, under strong consideration. Maybe for the entire team, to be quite honest. Um, just thinking about it that way. Uh, let's keep everybody together. Mm, that kind of sets me up for a, uh, that kind of sets me up for a, um, a grenade, doesn't it? Yep. I have such, like, PTSD from the uh, playing XCOM, where you group your guys together in XCOM, you're just, you're dead. Like, you just don't do it. So you can't see very well over there, but you can kind of cover that space. You can see it, like, it's going to be limited by his vision a lot. But we're gonna we're gonna do Overwatch for a lot of guys right now. Now this is gonna be over cover, so it's probably not gonna be great if they move up there. But I do want to do it. Ready. Same thing with you. On it. Uh -huh. And then with her, um. Whoa! No way! What? Cloak? And she has one action point. This unit gets the hidden status effect until your next turn. Units are hidden, invisible to enemies. Hidden is removed by skills and interactions. Okay. No freaking way. Won't trigger Overwatch. So, that's actually really good to know. Um, now, I'm not going to use it right now. I'm just going to end my turn. Just because uh, it, there's a cooldown for it. But that's amazing. So, your assault guys have a cloak effect so you can sneak up on enemies. That's really cool. So that guy that guy obviously missed the... Uh, so, these guys are, these guys are over. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we were able to do quite a bit of damage and remove that guy from cover just by just by having Overwatch on. He's going to move up now. Okay. Uh, first things first. What if I moved her and then used the cloak function? Yeah, so I don't have a good shot at any of these guys. So I, I almost kind of want to... I'm going to do it. Look at that. So she just cloaked. Now she can go flank next turn. We're going to try that out and try the skill and see how it works. I don't understand completely how it works right now, but I'd really like to know. Um, okay, what can I do here? Well, if somebody can just kill this guy who's sitting out in the open like an idiot. Uh, yeah, because it's only going to take one action point. We're, we're definitely going to kill him. Um... In fact, would it make more sense just to, like, F2 kill this guy? It's more accurate. It's definitely going to kill him. And we're not using any of our Retro Lancer um, ammo. Boom. So he's he's in trouble. He's not doing well. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch weapons back to my the the main assault rifle just because I'll totally forget if I if I don't. The only thing I, I it's kind of bugging me is I can't right click and move the camera as well in in the XCOM games. I'm just so used to doing that. Yeah, so this guy's got a pretty good. Yeah, see, that's gonna take three out of three, and I'm gonna have to go through there. So I'm definitely not gonna do that. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe we don't move him yet. Ready. What if I moved you? See, yeah, someone's got a. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about that pistol again, dude? Uh, where's the disabling shots? That's number five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we want to do. We want to try to disable this guy's Overwatch right now. You did, you missed the shot, but does that not, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you miss the shot, you don't get, okay, that's interesting. So if you miss the disabling shot, you don't get the effect. Hmm. So I missed the disabling shot there, that sucks. What if we go back here again? He's also got a disabling shot. Can I use disabling shot with either one? No. So disabling shot is unique to the snub pistol. That's very interesting. Okay. What's this? Empower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You gain, somebody gains a, a thing. It cost me an action, but somebody else gains one. That's interesting. Okay. Why not? I mean, we if we can disable this guy, we open up a lot of possibilities in terms of movement. Yeah, we're going to keep messing, aren't we? Um, same with you. Do you have a disabling shot? I mean, it continues to be kind of worth the try. 40% chance. Let's roll the dice. Let's keep rolling the dice. Nah, we just keep missing. I feel like we got a little bit screwed by RNG right there because... I feel like, you know, just by the luck of the draw, one of those would have hit. Yes, yeah, so we don't have a disabling shot. It's a long-ass cooldown, too. All right, so... What I do want to do, then... No, because you're totally going to get flanked if you do that. Man, I don't know what to do, you guys. 34, 47. Those are your best shots. I'm almost thinking, how many, how many action points does he have left? He has two. So we can shoot and do an overwatch. So let's do that. Let's shoot and do an overwatch. Got a, got a chunk of him nicely. And then if we do this, yeah. Oh, no, that was a really bad overwatch. I did not realize I was doing that. Whoopsies. Um, well... What can you do, guys? Let's do that. Bring it on. I'm ready. And then our turn's done. Oh, whoa! They just flanked us. That's bad. But he used all of his action points moving, so he's not going to be able to shoot. That guy can shoot for sure. Nice. That's a miss. It's a terrible overwatch. I screwed up the overwatch, and that's what's costing us right now. He's hunkered, but now we're in position to do some serious flanking on these guys, which we're totally going to do. So, you. If you moved here... Oh, you're in that Overwatch? Seriously? You're not if you move here and you've got a straight shot at that guy. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I don't love the cover on this in. let's go with our other guys let's do our other guys here first yeah, yeah, yeah if I move here I've got a clear shot excuse me guys my cough <coughs> on that guy who's the f the furthest forward in overwatch I've got a clear shot at him I'm gonna do it Exactly. Uh, even though it's still only 45%. Got him, though. Okay, so the good news is, because of that, now I can move a little more freely. Um, now, I will say, the safe thing to do right now would be to come over here and shotgun this person to death. Which we should probably do. What's this? That's execution, right? So... Affirmative. Yeah, just come over here and shoot this guy. Yeah. Boom. Critical hit because he had no cover. Uh, we basically just executed him. It was beautiful. 
Okay, so this guy, he's out in the open. This guy's overwatching us, so we're not going to be in a good position to do anything there. I think the best thing to do would just be to come over. Yeah, nowhere there. Can't go over here. To come over here would be stupid. I think the best thing to do is probably just come over here and shoot this guy and then overwatch. Yep, just kill this guy. Probably could have done that with my other with my other gun. In fact, you know what? Just because we only have one out of four, let's go ahead and reload and that'll be his last turn. So we, we kind of went with the, the smart safe mood, uh, move here. Let's go ahead and bring out that big cannon of yours, buddy. Um, now, what is... Do you have any, any sort of special abilities? No. But you could try to shoot this guy. Like, why not? You've got how many action points left? Three? Why not? You have no chance of hitting him. But I like it nonetheless. Just overwatch him back. These guys are the ones being aggressive. And I don't want to do anything stupid. As much as I'd love to go flank these guys right now, I think we're going to be able to. Here we go. Could go up and throw some kind of a grenade. Okay, so he's pretty locked down right now. Which means we need to kill these other guys. So let's do that. Yeah, not much of a chance. Do you have, uh, what kind of grenades do you have? Stim grenades, okay. Yeah, it's not going to really help us. A lot of bad shots, but that, that wasn't actually that terrible. Uh, what kind of grenades do you have? Oh, okay, here we go. So this might be... This might be the way to do it right here, guys. So if I just straight up tried to kill... If I just straight up... It's 48% chance, but... I got a little... I got a little something special for you, for you here, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Fire in the hole. And exploded. Kind of set myself up there for that, but, uh, you know, nonetheless. So she's got one left. So she could try to move up, but I don't know how much good that would do me. Just move up a little bit and, and create a little more space for us. Now, you... You're pretty locked down right here. You're going to get hit. If I move up, um, and yeah, we still don't have our disabling shot. That's a long cooldown for the disabling shot. I think what I should probably do is just move to cover and then do an Overwatch as well. I could just try. I could try to shoot him with a 10% hit chance, but that was, just seems kind of stupid. And now I'm out of ammo, so I'm gonna go ahead and reload, which I probably should have just done in the first place and then done Overwatch, but whatever. They're gonna move up, I bet. Yeah, they're gonna move up. That guy's going to lock him down, but I can move up and, and flank that guy. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be. Is that all? That's really two? Is there just one? That's one. So you're going to be able to get flanked, but I think that it's going to be worth it. We want to find the rest of Echo 5. That's where we start looking. So that guy's messed up, and then now I'm going to just move you to probably to cover. Because now that the overwatch is off, I'm not as worried about it. So go here. Yeah, just move to cover now. So, yeah, what you're going to do, buddy, uh, yeah, please perform an execution. That sounds wonderful. And goodbye. Say goodbye to your head, buddy. Nice. Execution. So when you do an execute, the good, the, the, what I'm starting to realize is executions are beyond just like the show of it, right? Like, obviously that's awesome, <laughs> but they actually have a tactical purpose as well. Um, and that being, um, yeah, let's move up the tactical purpose being they give everybody an extra action point, right? So a pretty big tactical purpose.
Uh, okay, so instead of doing that, why don't we just do this? Nice. Um, and you, you have an extra action, which means I'm probably just going to get you behind uh, some cover. And then same with this guy. Let's move up here. And we'll do the same thing. Let's get into Overwatch mode here. We're covered here. On standby. Uh, you have two actions. Oh, really? That's going to take two. Let's try to see if I can get a, a better angle to shoot this guy with, but uh, I don't know. 43%? Nah. We're covered over here. Everyone, look start. Nice. There we go. So he moved and we just murdered him. That was like an absolute shellacking right there. Okay. So everyone's going to... I was going to say, does everyone, is everyone going to reload their weapons? But I don't know if that's actually the case. Uh, let's go ahead and do it for him. Then. Maybe if I if I just get somebody into the, like, the mission area, it'll like... I, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, okay. Nope, it's just going to say prepare for another enemy attack. Okay. Yep, grubs. I'm assuming they're going to come from over here. But I, you know, who knows? Let's just move up. Standby. Just move everybody up. Everybody up. Okay. Yeah, especially you with the with Roger the shotgun. That. Here comes trouble. Grubs, twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. There we go. Okay, yeah. Our instincts served us correct. That's where they coming from, guys. They got enemy reinforcements. Okay, so two things. Two things that we should be smart about here. One, we want to take this because it's a it's a, a cache. And I don't think I don't think I saw any other ones. Oh, there's one right here, actually. I didn't see that before, but we might want to send someone back to get it. Um, let's just see how the battle goes first. We want to get this and we want to throw a grenade there. So whoever has the uh, frag grenades. Support on hand. You do not. Yours, uh, you can get over there, though. So here's what we're going to do. Well, Ready. one thing, though. Really, you can only hit those guys. Really interesting. Okay, so we need, but we need some people here who have a lot of ammo, who can do some overwatching. Uh, yeah, you. Affirmative. You can do... Overwatch only takes... Oh, it takes... For him, it takes two action points. Well, I'm glad I looked before I shot then. So, yeah. You're watching that. You. I want to do the same thing with you. And then I'm going to get the other guy over there and bring uh, him up. Yeah, okay. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the same thing with you. We'll make your yeah. We're gonna make your cone a little shorter, like that, because I don't know how accurate you are in the, in in beyond that distance. So this guy's got the stim grenades, so he's gonna be a little more worthless in this in this situation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring him up. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna Overwatch so we can just create like a killing zone over here. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna have a great coverage there, but you'll have better coverage as they come over the edge there. Um, yeah, like that. Uh, you're going to be okay there. And then we're going to move this guy. He's going to come over here. By himself. Probably dangerous. But he'll be able to cover this zone. And he'll be able to throw the grenade uh, on the next turn when this busts open. Which is just about to. And there's going to be guys. Yeah. Exactly. And these guys will disperse, I'm sure. So there's one. Yeah, he's going to move up. Not good. Oh, only a partial hit. Okay. But the problem is these guys are going to really... Yeah, they're going to do some damage. Whoa, who just got shot? Whoa, that was a little friendly fire right there? Wow. Not good. 
This did not go according to plan, guys. Really bad. That was bad. She's gonna get hit now, too. Oh, no. Uh, this did not go as we thought it would. Run away, run away. So this guy's gonna have to take a hit, probably, and just get the hell out of here. He could try. He could try to do the... It's still on. Disabling shots unlocked. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be bad. Because he's got two guys with Overwatch on him. And like a million dudes around him. Alright, well, I know your first move, so just do it. Are you going to get hit by this guy to opportunity attack? Yeah, we'll attack when a, a unit moves too close. So yeah, here's the problem is I don't think I don't see much way around this. If you hit if if you went exit out of that and hit F2, do you have any better shots? No. I just think I have to shoot this guy. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I know you do. Um, if you move here, you'll at least be able to kill one of these guys. That was good. Um, you need to chainsaw this guy. Oh no! What does that mean? He just... Oh, because it's a chainsaw. I don't know what that means. Second win. This unit revives and gets one action. Won't trigger Overwatch. Okay. I'm up. I'm up. I don't know how that just worked, but that seemed pretty cool. Heavy on standby. I should have just shot him. That should, would have been the smarter thing to do. Yeah. I was just trying to use my chainsaw, okay? I got a little excited. Uh, okay, so now what we need to do, you're going to be, you're going to be in big trouble. Uh, hunker down, select the target, ally and cover, target gains plus 40 evasion, T target may take no actions this turn, won't trigger overwatch. Uh, I just need to get the heck out of here. I'm going to get shot twice, which is going to suck, but I'm going to die if I don't. So, yeah. See, got shot. Need to get the hell out of here. Like this. Just need to move. Yeah. Alright, you. How many skills, how many action points do you have? You can't hit anybody though. You, yeah, you can't hit shit right now. So, here's what you're going to do. And try not to shoot any of your own teammates, man. What, what was up with that? Alright, well... Let's pray. Let's pray for ourselves, guys, because they're gonna get, keep getting more guys out of this because I didn't get a grenade in there. It's because I got messed up. Not good. And you're out of ammo. Wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we're getting our ass kicked. So much for raising the difficulty. Oh my. We're in trouble. Big trouble. And enemy reinforcements. We're going to die, I think. We might lose this one and have to start over. Uh, okay, you need to shoot somebody. Not with your pistol. You can't do a bayonet charge on this guy. He'll just, he'll just kill you. Uh, yes, you can shoot this guy, though. Wow, a lot of targets here, guys. Well, let's shoot this guy first. What? How did that just happen? So, ah, uh, it triggers on action. Man, uh, okay, yeah. Man. Hmm. Alright, so... Yeah. 
How many of these guys can we kill? All right, reloading. We're in trouble. To say the least, we're in trouble. 54. Okay. Kind of actions we have left. You've got three. You can kill three people. All right, so let's start with one. See, what does this mean? Is this, is this, that mean I'm gonna hit my own teammate? I want to say that that's what that means. So I got to move one and then kill these guys? I don't know. Still learning. Bagged and packed. Let's just kill as many as we can. And you got no ammo. So I need to... I've got two action points. I need to kill this guy sitting next to me. No doubt. Have to do it. And then I almost think I have to do this. Where he's got one action point. So he can, over, he can overwatch like here. And then she's my literally my last person. And this guy's gonna this guy's gonna shoot somebody. There's just no doubt about it. Uh, I can throw a grenade. And kill four people. Alright, well let's do that obviously. Fire in the hole. That was a good outcome. Good kill, soldier. How many action points does she have? All right, well, let's hope this kills this guy. It did not. Because it was a partial hit. All right, well, they're going to keep... I mean, we need to get over here. We need to reclaim this... Okay, that just blew up. Okay. So, we just completely failed on that because that was going to be our ticket to actually stopping this onslaught. Yeah, you're just going to need to shoot this guy, because otherwise he's going to mess you up. Here we go. Good. Two, and then the double overwatch again. So, here's the tough, here's the tough thing. So, you just need to shoot this guy, because he's next to you, and he'll shoot you, if, and he'll hit you if you don't. What? That is, I'm having PTSD from, uh, like... Serious PTSD from uh, XCOM right there when I'm like two feet in front of the guy. Okay, so he does. Okay, he's got disabling shot. Gotta hit it. Gotta hit it, man. What? Come on! That he was not in the cone. Yep. That is brutal, you guys. Absolutely brutal. All right, well, just can you can you shoot anybody without hitting the? Golly, finally, man, just brutal. All right, well, yeah, you got to reload. Okay, I'm good. Who who can take a shot from this other guy right now? Maybe me, maybe this guy. Do you have a disabling shot? See, the thing is, if I do a disabling shot, though, I'm not, I'm in the, the thing, so he's going to get the first action either way. So, what I really need to do is just run to a place where I can try to kill this guy. This is probably going to result in his death. I just don't know what to do. I think he's with yeah, he's within his cone, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hit. 
If I just move, yeah, he's win he's in it. No matter what, he's getting he's getting shot. No. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I could just counter this guy's Overwatch with an Overwatch. Affirmative. Heavy reporting. I don't know why he did that with his pistol. That was stupid. Um. So he's got a hundred percent chance to hit this guy, and he's gonna get shot. Now I'm really regretting that other move, that Overwatch move. Taking position. Anchored. Okay, so when he, when the heavy guy gets in cover, looks like he gets this anchored effect that like significantly increases his accuracy. It's pretty sweet. It's a new thing to learn. Yeah, one more to go. He's about to kill this guy. Well, I hit him. And another wave inbound behind us. Alright, so we're going to be able to go back and get that, that ammo right there, guys. We're getting that. Oh, boy. No! I don't know if we can handle this, you guys. Alright, so first things first, we need to get behind this guy and kill him. So we're going to reverse this, and we're just going to come over here and kill this guy. Sound good? That's a plan. Maybe I can use my pistol. Ninety percent chance. All right, that's fine. Scout reporting in. Okay now. Okay, so we're in position now. Stand by. I want to get this, so I'll send this guy over to get this. If I execute this guy, I, everyone gets an action, right? Which I kind of like. Track. Pistol. You up. And smashed his face. Okay, that's sweet. So everyone, yeah, so everyone just gained an action. It's That's right. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch back over to this. That leaves me a little too exposed to those other guys, wherever they are. They did get dropped in. I saw them get dropped in. That leaves me pretty exposed. Finding some cover would be smart, I think. Um, so I'll get over here to help these guys out. The road. Hey. Oh, you still have a... You still have an action. Get that, get that stuff, man. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we got the case. Now, there's another case over here. We're definitely going to go get it as we fight those other guys. Uh, now, she has four actions. No frag grenades. Does anybody have a frag grenade? No. Her frag grenades are on cooldown. But she can do a lot of cool stuff right now because she's pretty close to these guys. She could get even closer if she just moved. Yeah, it's only one. And she's going to be able to kill a lot of these guys. Do I want to shoot with this guy first, though? I think the answer to that is yes. What's in power? Target ally gains a... It only costs one action? Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to give her a fifth action, guys. She's got five actions now. And I can go ahead and shoot with this guy. And I've got really good shots on these dudes. Okay. This is going to do it. So that's one. Yup. And... Here comes two. He's got, I think he's got all of his ammo. Yeah. And three. I'm loving this. Yeah. Okay. Is he done now? Okay. He's done. But the important thing is I bought myself five action points on these other guys. Right? Don't want to get too close to him. But. One. You're very productive right now. And I'll, I might be able to reload, too. That was a partial hit. That's okay. Yup. Now you can reload. You've got two. You've got one action left. Yeah. No, 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 no. Switch to your pistol. 
Yeah, here we go. Exactly. That's how we're going to do it, baby. Right there. You got him. We got him. Hell yeah, that was huge. Sweet. So they're moving in Overwatch. We've got a crate over there. Wow, guys, this was going really, really badly. Go. Thank God for this second win thing, because my goodness. This episode's going a little long, guys, but I think I still want to finish it. Still want to finish it in this thing, so. Okay, okay so here's what we got. Yeah, you. Um, you've got your pistol out, and you've got a disabling shot available. Um, if you moved, that, that'd take all your actions, though, wouldn't it? Um, move here. I don't know if that makes your disabling shot any or more or less accurate. 13% chance? No. So you're probably not going to be able to use that this turn. Uh, maybe just reload this. Reload. And then how far can you move? Not very far. You know what? You just, you just chill. If they move, kill them. Uh, there we go. I like the idea of him overwatching from over there. Now, I'm in that guy's cone. I don't think I am in this guy's cone. I'm here. Do you have your grenade? You do have your grenade. You also, do you have your disabling shot? No, it's on major cooldown. Okay, get over here. I don't hate this. I don't hate just killing this guy right now. See ya, buddy. And we destroyed that cover. So now, basically, this, this Overwatch right here is a lot more worthless for that guy. And I'm almost thinking I want to come over here and I'll use my cloaking. Like, what if I came here and used the cloak? Acknowledged. I kind of like it. Hell yeah, do it. So she just went invisible. In. Um, you also have grenades, but they're healing grenades. And I wonder if you could... I wonder if that would be a really... Oh, hell yeah. This is a good move. We're gonna mess this guy up. It's a good chance we do some serious critical, too. Yup. Partial hit. Nothing too big there. So they've got him on lockdown, but I'll be able to free him. Because they did not see her. And she's uh, she's going to come in for some blood. Uh, well, she could kill that guy. Yeah, what if you just kill... Uh, just kill this guy who's on the thing. Yeah. One. Down. And um, she doesn't have any. She only has one action point left. No, because if you do this, if he does this action, I think he's going to get hit still. By. So I've just got to kill these guys. Which is definitely doable. Yeah, shoot this asshole. Excellent. We downed him. Does not work over cover. Oh, it's only in a straight line? Okay. I could reload and shoot again. Back in heat. Which I'm kind of thinking about doing. There we go. Yeah, he's dead. Kill Scout here. 
on my way. Same execution, I love it. There it is. That's all of them. That was awesome. No. What happened? Got in a little bit of trouble there, guys. Gotta be a little smarter next time. Holy crap. Ucom's wiping out the mop up crews. Gears are lucky. That cop should pick them up. Mm -hmm. It's a bummer we didn't get to pick up the other uh, crate. I didn't see it in the beginning of the mission. Otherwise, would have gone for it. Little bit of a bummer. And there they are. Let's go. All right, yeah, without being downed or killed. So we didn't get that. We would have got another common case, huh? Interesting, okay. Well, we'll still move on. Sweet. Oh, she got 14 kills right there? Oh my gosh. You need to get a little better, bit, bit better with the heavy. I'm, I'm starting to understand, though, how they work a little more. Once you get him into cover and, you, and he stays there for a turn, he gets that mounted effect, and then you can really just start unloading on people. I like it. Heavy class now available. Tyrone, join your squad. Um, sweet. Let's claim our reward. Another common case. What do we got? Diagnostic scope. Okay. Units healing skills get 10%. Oh, that could be good for... Um, the healing skills get 10%. That'd be good for the guy who actually heals himself. So going back to the barracks then. Uh, actually, you know what, guys? We're, we'll go home. We'll take care of that next time. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming out. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe is all the support I ever need. And I will see you guys all next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.